All right, that is woodworking nirvana right there. I'm on it. It's that's just almost perfectly flush, and I'll take care of that when I sand this whole thing when it's one piece. But that is going to be outstanding. All right, there's several big moments in this project, and this is one of them. Drilling these hinge pins into the uh, lid. I played around with different uh, shims, you know, like this style here. Just cutting them, uh, you know, ripping them off and, and breaking them into pieces. And I just couldn't get it just the way I wanted it. It finally dawned on me to place the lid where I wanted it. You know, just kind of hold it in place. Then I dropped these wedges in place in various spots. And just let them sit, uh, you know, pretty much by gravity. Then I just kind of went around and tapped them lightly with my fingers here. And that lid is nice and solid. Then I put this uh, rapid action clamp on. Just gave it one click to keep down pressure on the lid. And now I'm ready to go. So I've got my uh, drill bit here, the same one I used to drill these holes on the uh, drill press. So that's gonna, this is going to be my alignment, uh, or my guide, I should say, through the wood and the bushing into the lid. And that's the depth I want to go, about, about an inch. I think that will be plenty deep enough. So here we go. See as I was putting pressure on that, these popped out, but that's all right. It should be okay. Yep. Now I'm just going to go to the other side and drill that one. First attempt at lifting the lid here. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Just, just ever so slight uh, binding about right there. I can feel it. That's okay. It operates just beautifully. I'm using my uh, tenon jig here. I've tilted the fence at 45 degrees. I got a piece of scrap plywood, half inch plywood that's about the same width as my box. And I want to run this through to see if I like the location of the, uh, of the key here and also to see if I get any tear out. I, I may use this as a backer board or I may not. It depends upon how this all goes. So let's see how, how it works. Okay, what I wanted was three quarters of an inch from the dovetail the outside corner to the edge and you can see I'm off about a sixteenth of an inch so I've made an adjustment to my fence I moved it over and uh, I think I'm good to go so let's get busy <laughs>
Well, that was a lot uh, easier than I thought. You can see there. That's going to look really nice. Just got to pick out a species of wood that I want to put in there. I'm not sure if I want to go with the same oak or with a contrasting color. You know, because if, even if you go with the same species, because of the grain is going to be cut differently, it's going to it's going to look different. But I've got to cut those dovetail keys uh, first. All right, I've got my router so. fence uh, set up here. Uh, I did not change. I, I take that back. I did change one thing uh, with the bit. I raised it a thirty-second of an inch. That's going to give me a dovetail key that's going to extend past uh, the corners of my box just that little bit. Uh, this board is, let's see, yeah, three quarters of an inch thick. What I need at the bottom here is a half inch uh, dovetail. So I've got to take about an eighth of an inch off each side. So I'm going to run the first side uh, on, on both uh, both sides of this board. I'm going, to, I'm going to end up making more dovetail keys than I need. But I'm going to run both sides and then uh, move my fence over a little bit, uh, kind of judge where I'm at, and then I'll, I'll make the remaining passes and sneak up on that half inch width. Uh, with, with the last couple passes. I guess I forgot to mention that too. When I built, when I did the keys in the box, I, I made sure that the cutting edge was a little bit below the surface so that that did give me the ability to raise it a little bit to make these keys the way I want here. snug fit. So I'm going to rip these off. I'll take one or the other and fit these keys and uh, then glue them in. And I got them all in and, and glued. Uh, this last one um, was the loosest of all, but I found a piece, you know, even within the length of stick I had there, you found different variations. But I ended up using uh, the, the nine thousandths in every one of these except one, that very first one you saw. So uh, they're, they're, it's a good fit. That, this one here doesn't wiggle anymore. I think I, 
I'm not saying I filled the gap with glue, but it, it was maybe a thousandth or two off. But I'm, I, I like the fit on all of them now. So I'll let that sit for a good hour or two here, then come back and I'll show you how I'm going to trim those off.